Here's a small AM clock radio from maybe 1966. And it's from General Electric. And it's the C550G um, plastic. It's got a chromish type of trim around it. We have our clock face, uh, control dial, turn the radio on, off, or wake to music, or wake to music, or alarm. We have a sleep timer here, and our dial scale with the volume control and tuning for the radio dial. General Electric, solid state, nice vintage wood grain. We have a snooze button here that gives you, I think, eight more minutes of sleep. We have a top firing speaker. I think it's about three inches. Nothing around the sides. And on the back we have our control for our setting our alarm time and setting the clock. There's also a very sort of Yankee strain relief on the outside which combined with what I saw on the bottom shows that somebody has been in here over the years. And here's the bottom. You can see there was tape, a lot of tape along here, and there was missing screws, and some of the screws don't match. And uh, let's see if we can see some of the specifics here. The 550G, 60 cycles, 15 watts. Five forty to sixteen hundred kilo cycles, so this obviously dates the predates the kilohertz settings in the late sixties, so that dates it too. Um, nothing else of interest out here. Now this radio is somewhat of an interest to me because this actually belonged to my sister, who had gotten it in nineteen seventy seven as a gift from uh, our grandparents when they found out that. Her apartment at Ball State had been burglarized, and her new clock radio that she'd gotten from our mother had been stolen. So they gifted her this. Uh, now, we don't know if they'd had it or used it or anything like that, but she had this, and she used it for some time before she stuck it away, and it's been safely stored down in North Carolina for a long time. When she gave it to me, I wanted to check inside and see what was going on in there and look at the uh, chassis and things like that. I had a few thoughts about that strain relief and we do see another one on the inside that was obviously factory made. And the ones I see on these on the internet, they don't show that funky strain relief on the outside either. So someone has been in here and whoever did it added a strain relief on the outside along with the inside. So let's take a look at what I found on the inside when I looked at the chassis. Looks like somebody's been in here. Things are taped up. There's different sets of screws and one missing. So uh, let me see if I can get this back off and see what's going on. Although this is really the bottom, not the back. Okay, getting the back off. Here's the inside. Looking at the chassis here. Definitely see some transistors and resistors. Normal fare or antenna. Tuning capacitor. The heat sink on that one. Electrolytics, output transformers, the clock mechanism, no obvious date codes or anything or any manufacturing information. That's a kind of a chunky thing. 
There's our speaker, four ohms, one watts. All right. We have a non-polarized plug. What is that? LR4519? All right, plugged in. My uh, clock still works. Now it has settings off and on, and you can wake to music or wake to what it says, music alarm. I don't know what the difference is. I don't hear any buzzing on this when I put it at this setting. It's just music, just like this one. So maybe there's a fault in the circuitry somewhere over the years. But the uh, waking to the alarm does work. Uh, we'll listen to a little band scan, not much. I don't get any stations below um, 900, which is pretty normal. Turning it on. Sports and talk is about all I get on AM. One or two Latino stations sometimes. Question there, but as a leader, he stinks. That's the best sounding one. The sports it, station. It is not going down just to see from That's actually a Latino station there, I believe. Just barely coming in. Yep. So that's the last station I usually ever get. A clear postulation. Where he, he's going to be a little aloof. He's going to be a little off. So, Good volume on a strong station. And off. Now, if I wanted to set it up to 60 minutes of a sleep timer before you went to bed, you could just start this. Then, as that slowly went down to zero, when it got to zero, the radio would turn off. Like that. Now, if you're listening to the radio and the alarm goes off, and you want to snooze, there's your snooze button, and watch this, this will go to about eight minutes. So that's how it, like hybrid it does a little more. We set the alarm, see what happens. Those were our Haslam's that could go to Chris and say, hey Chris, X, Y, and Z has to be better, and it worked out. Right. No, so that works. Let's try it on music and alarm again. Once I did get it to work, and I did hear an alarm. There you go. Just operator air, I guess. Press it. We're down to a sleep timer now. So the clock works, keeps good time. Alarms both work. Well, that's been the uh, General Electric C550G AM radio from, I think, 1966. Working and good. Um, a family heirloom, I guess you'd call it. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.